Nadine, the other half, of course, of Nick and Nadine. And today we are gonna be redoing the master bathroom. I have not done the master bathroom in the longest while. This video is a weekend edition. It is a part of a collaboration with Simply Carla Jones. If you guys have not gone over to Simply Carla Jones yet, please go on over. Her All of her information and her videos for our series are linked in the description box down below. She is an amazing, what I call home decor specialist. She does shopping videos, hauls, vlogs, and she also does decorate with me videos. So after you're done with me, go on over and pay her a visit and go ahead and hit that subscribe button for her as well as that like button. I think I did one other video on this channel earlier on in our YouTube journey and I haven't done one since. Our bathroom has definitely gotten minimal upgrades since then. So it's something, it's a place that I'd like to work on a lot more. I'm not sure why I just don't decorate my bathroom as much as I should. It's a beautiful space to work with, so I definitely want to work in this space much more. I cannot wait to share the outcome of my decorate with me, with you. We don't wanna to yap too much. Let's move on and get into the video. In about the time of lockdown, I thought it would be funny to place these wall hangings up in the bathroom. I kind of wanted to incorporate a little bit of gold for me, which would be more like the glam, and some funny statements, which I thought Nick would get some humor out of. But it has served its purpose and served its time. So it is now time to use this for a DIY. Tug on your creativity. Always think about different ways that you can repurpose some of the things that you already have so you don't need to spend a large amount of money buying new things. This is something that I'm always constantly thinking to do. Keep up with, you know, what is out, what is new. And if you see something that you like, look around your home and try to figure out if there is anything that you don't want that you can use to repurpose and make it like new again. If you're not sure what to do or how to do it, Pinterest is always a really good motivator as well as YouTube. On these platforms, you will always find a plethora of ideas. This is another item that I had many of. I used to order glossy boxes and I decided to repurpose that item. And we're just gonna go ahead and throw those monogram towels into the wash that I got from Amazon about the time that we were under lockdown. And we're gonna do some light cleaning. Now, I try to clean my bathroom frequently throughout the week so that it is not so difficult when it comes to the end of the week. I can tell you right now, that my master bathroom is not my favorite place to clean at all. It is very long and tedious in terms of a task at the end of the week. And so I do try to do cleanups in between. It can be very, very difficult to keep up with. And I have to admit that this is the one bathroom that tends to get neglected amongst all the other spaces in my home. I tend to take care of spaces that the children utilize more than the bathroom that we use but I do get it done and it is really important to keep those areas clean this is a little hamper that I only use for towels so we're just gonna empty that <laughs> Okay, here's a little hack for you guys. If you have a little bit of baby oil, I tend to keep a little bottle from the Dollar Tree, just a little bottle for this particular purpose. You put it on a cloth or on a piece of paper towel and wipe down all of your fixtures after cleaning. It will help to reduce soap scum and it'll help it to look shinier. It will repel fingerprints and it will just look cleaner a little bit longer 
and the smell isn't so bad either. Let's hold a level. All right. Kudos to my husband for always trying to help me when I'm doing these little projects. I'm always putting him on the spot and last minute. I'm going against the You're pushing the, the wall. Come. On the walls on the even. Where about put this right right there? Just stay right there. Do I just move it? Not only is it Father's Day this weekend, but it is also his birthday weekend and he's always so good at trying to help me. So I really, really appreciate him for all that he does. And happy Father's Day to all of the amazing, wonderful dads out there. We all appreciate you guys. that I just finished rolling with a rolling pin. And this one is actually one that I got from Trader Joe's. I just remember that I had this. I was actually gonna display it as a dried arrangement. I bought it fresh. They're only $3.99 at Trader Joe's. This one comes as a set, a little bit more on Amazon. So, this comes with the lavender, but if you are in an area that has a Publix, most likely in the Southern state, then you can go ahead and purchase this at Trader Joe's and you can get your lavender for about the same cost over at Publix. The bunch does not look bad scanty. However, I'm gonna go ahead and fluff it up a little. And this one smells so much more fragrant than this one. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate both of them.
these are the lavender stems that I got from Publix. And these are very, very fragrant, even through the bag. And here are the lavender stems that I got from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and mix them together and we're gonna put them in the vase. As you can see, there is quite a bit of difference in color and quality. So the ones from Amazon are not as robust and not as colored as the ones from Publix are. And definitely the ones from Publix, as they look more robust, they also smell a lot more robust. If you're wondering which ones are better, I would definitely go with your Publix variety or your local grocery store. purchased both of these soap dispensers or lotion dispensers, conditioners, shampoo dispensers, their dispensers. I purchased both of them from the Target Dollar Spot. I love the way how they look. I like the faux wood on them. However, I'm not a big fan of the green. The green is okay if you want that pop of color, I guess, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, clean it, and take the stickers off, put the sticker on the bottom. So I'll do it with both. I'll put one in the shower and I will leave one out for lotion.
I am so happy and excited about the way how everything turned out. I really, really love it. I especially love this DIY project that is right above the toilet. I will surely be trying to do more of those. It was such a pleasure to share this video with you guys. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider going down below, hitting the like button first, please, and then the subscribe button for more videos on the channel. For all of you guys have been that have been subscribing for oh so long, I appreciate every one of you guys. We absolutely enjoy doing these videos for you guys. Please don't be shy. Give us a comment, share your thoughts and your opinions down below. Please be mindful and please be respectful. Thank you so much, everyone. You guys, we love you guys. We want you to stay safe and God bless you guys. See you guys later. Bye.